Could the grip on your putter be as important as the putter itself? Well, today we're going to find out. So this year, in 2024, Golf Pride have introduced a new putter grip to the market. Yep, we're talking about the Golf Pride Reverse Taper. So if you're a golfer or you even watch golf, you're going to have heard of Golf Pride. They're a real household name when it comes to golf equipment. Obviously the iconic branding, you know, when you think golf grips, you think of Golf Pride. It's just one of those things, they go hand in hand. Sorry. But when it comes to Golf Pride, they're so dominant and so successful in full swing grips, they're actually struggling a little bit within recent years in the putter market. Hence the introduction of the reverse taper. They're trying to change that. Now, Golf Pride have a whopping 70 to 80% market share in full swing grips. Last year on tour, a staggering 97% playing in the BMW PGA Championship at Wentworth had Golf Pride grips in the bag. So why are they not using the putter grips as well? Well, Golf Pride might not admit this, but let's be honest, it's because of their competitors, and in particular, Superstroke. Superstroke have filled tour players' bags for the last 10, 15 years, like Jordan Spieth. Even manufacturers now like TaylorMade are fitting their own putters, the Spiders, with Superstroke slash TaylorMade grips. So reverse taper, what does that actually mean? Well, in simple terms, it basically means that there's a slimmer upper half of the grip and a thicker lower half of the grip. Now the ideology behind this basically is all about helping to anchor the top hand for stability and reduce tension in the lower hand for just more of a smooth acceleration through the putting stroke. And additionally to that, what they're trying to say with the reverse taper is that it prevents micro levers in the stroke and what that basically means is flipping at impact. What they're saying is they have done tons and tons of testing over years on the Sam Putt Lab, which is basically a measuring device for putting, and with real golfers on simulators, robot testing as well, as I say, on Sam Putt Lab. And what they found is this is just the best formula to do it, to help golfers improve their putting. So the reverse taper comes in three different styles. Now there is round, which is this grip here. Obviously it's a more rounded um, feel to it. You can see that in the end there. There is the flat, which again, slightly flatter. You can see that in the end there, a little bit more defined, a little bit thinner than that round one. And then I've got the pistol grip here, which this is actually on my putter. Uh, again here, a little bit more defined, and you can see there how that just sits in the palm a little bit better. So three different styles, and they all come in two different sizes of medium and large. So how have I reviewed these? How have I tested these reverse taper grips? Well, obviously, a grip is really personal preference. It's all about feel. It's all about your own putting stroke. It's all about what you want to see and feel in the putter, which, as we know, and as you'll know, is also personal. But I try my best to kind of work through each different style of grip. So I've gone through round, flat, and pistol. And then what I've also done is I've compared those to two other grip styles that I've used in the past. That I've used a real traditional ping style grip, really the thinnest type of grip you can imagine. If you think of Tiger, you kind of think of that ping classic thin grip. And then I've also tested it with a classic super stroke pistol grip on another tailor-made putter of mine. So although the looks might not be maybe as important as the looks of the actual putter head itself, I still think looks is an important thing to discuss, especially when this putter grip looks like this. Now, the looks of this, if I'm honest, I'm not massively sold. It's quite loud, it's quite brash, it's quite garish in areas. You've obviously got this red, black, white, and the branding's quite loud in it. I'd have preferred, if I'm honest with it, to be a little bit more subtle. But what I will say is, it's all quite functional, the way this looks. Everything on it's got a purpose. So you see these kind of little lines here. They're there to illustrate the difference and the change in the taper, the thickness as you go down the grip. The white and black difference there again, it's supposed to use, you know, give you like a visual cue. 
almost like a training aid on the grip to kind of help you with alignment and really fit a number of different styles. So to be fair, as I got used to the grip and once I put it on my putter, I think it kind of works. And to be honest with you, I use at the moment a tailor-made uh, spider rollback. So as you can see, that red and black, just purely through chance, fits the head cover and the design of my putter really quite nicely. So as I say, the more I used it, the more the looks grew on me. So feel, a massive part, obviously, as we know, of, of using or trying even a new grip. So the first thing I think to say is how soft this grip is. It's got a real nice cushiony feel to it. As you press it in there, you can see just, it, it feels really pleasing in the hands. It's not hard or coarse in any way. As with most modern putter grips that you get these days, if I'm honest with you, it does have that kind of super stroke feel to it. It's really tacky. It's really got a kind of sticky feel to it, which is really good, again, for feel and just to give you that confidence. It does feel great, I've got to be honest. Throughout the grip, it's got these like slight perforations, these little kind of dots all the way through the grip and these little lines here. These perforations just really help give an overall satisfying feel to the grip. So performance. Now, I started by getting fitted for the round medium putter grip. Okay, so the standard, if you like. And if I'm honest with you, I wasn't hugely sold with the grip. I'm used to a bit of a thinner grip, although I've used super stroke grips over the years. I just like more de definition. This to me just, as I say, felt a little bit too rounded and a little bit like I lost a little bit, a bit of feel actually in the putting stroke. So I then tried the flat in medium as well. Now this is slightly more defined. You feel it a little bit more in your left palm there and it just sat a little bit better. Now, was I holding any more putts? Was I, did I feel like my putting stroke had improved in any way? On the longer putts, it was hard to see whether there was too much difference in consistency around the hole. But what I will definitely say is on shorter putts is sometimes where I struggle actually, confidence over shorter putts especially, I just felt a little bit more confident and there was less way of me manipulating, jerking, pushing, turning my hands over. Now moving on to the pistol grip, which as you can see, this is the grip that's actually on my putter. So I changed again and went through to the pistol grip. And straight away, if I just take that off, straight away, I felt like you can see the kind of angle there and you can see that how there's just more to the grip and it fit in my left hand just so much better. I felt like I had more definition. I felt like around here I could feel the putter a lot more and I was still getting the help from that reverse taper with my right hand. So I would definitely say it's so important to try the different styles. I much preferred the pistol grip. I was getting that help at the bottom, but still that kind of traditional shape at the top where I could really sit, ni it could really sit nicely in my hands and feel like I had a great feel stood over some putts. Now, as I said, I did try this with a traditional old school pin grip, a super short grip, and the pistol grip that I finally settled on. And what I would say is, the difference was huge. It wasn't massively difference in the actual outcome, it was more the difference in me and my feels over the ball and my confidence. When I put the pin grip, the original thing pin grip, which I do still love by the way, and I might, who knows, might switch back to that in the future at some point. I do still love that feel. It just felt so thin. As we're used to modern thicker grips now to kind of help with everything we're talking about today, that thinner grip, it's just unbelievable how grips have come on, putter grips have come on over the years. And I do think a lot of people, even pros now, are using grips like this, as we kind of mentioned Jordan Spieth earlier. The best putters in the world are using that slightly thicker grip. That moves me on to the super stroke grip. I think when comparing the super stroke grips to the golf pie grips is, I really preferred the exact perforations in the golf pride grip. Yeah, they just gave me a better feel um, when I was stood over the ball. And actually, I know I said I didn't like the looks of this putter grip earlier on. When comparing them to the super short grips, I think the super short grips are really loud as well. I think they're really almost a little bit 
gimmicky and can look a little bit tacky at times. And you could say the same for these in just the design of them, the actual aesthetic. I actually preferred kind of these visual cues that the Golf Pride grip gave to me compared to the kind of more louder, um, modern, super short grips as well, actually. So it was a really interesting test going through those three different grip styles. And I've got to say, going forward, this pistol grip felt the greatest for me, it felt the best. It might be just where my putting stroke is at the moment, where my game is, who knows, it might change in the future. But certainly this year, I'm gonna stick with this pistol grip and try it for the foreseeable compared to the others. If you were to go onto the Golf Pride website and look at the reverse taper grips, you won't see a price on there. And that's because Golf Pride work with retailers. Now, I have had a look online and spoken to people in pro shops and seen that these grips are retailing for around about £30. You're gonna see them for £29.99 online. You might be able to get them from your local pro a little bit cheaper. They might be down to 25 later in the year. Now, that's quite a lot of money, £30 for a grip. It's maybe the same price as you know, a dozen balls these days. But as we know, the putt is the club you use most on the golf course. It's the most important club in the bag, bar none. If anybody tells you different, they're lying. And you've got to get it right. So that's why people invest so much money on putters themselves and chop and change all the time. Because if you're not right with your putter and your putter grip, it can really be the difference between breaking 80, breaking 90, or even breaking 100. So, I do think the people that will be looking at investing in a putter grip won't see £30 as too much money. It's fairly competitive within the marketplace at the moment. Finally, thank you so much for watching and I'm going to pass it over to you. I want you to start the conversation down in the comments. Do you like the look of these grips? Have you used thick grips in the past? Have you used reverse taper grips in the past? Is this something that you're thinking of trying? Have you already got one on your putter? Let me know in those comments below and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe for more. Cool.